The main arm of the, of the um, M1A1 and A2 is the 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, which currently fires a number of projectiles. And your new round, which is the XM1147, will replace four of those, I understand. Yes, it's gonna, going to replace four inventory rounds and add two new capabilities also. Yeah. And the main capability, it's uh, an airburst munition. It is very uh, airburst and uh, also it enhances uh, wall busting. And do you have to program it before, before you load it, or is that a part of the breech loading mechanism? No, that's, it has a, the, the new Abrams data link uh, is used to set the round to any of the three uh, modes, the airburst, point detonate, or point detonate with delay. Um, has it, the U.S. Army doesn't have an IM requirement at the moment. Is this one IM requirement or not yet? Yes, fully IM, yes, it has IM uh, requirements, and it has IM uh, explosive fill and it'll be using the PA-171 IM uh, container, IM approved container. So that, that IM is very important really, because certainly we're on board ship, they like everything to be IM compliant, and it, it improves the survivability of the platform. It, most definitely, and it also has the improved uh, uh, hero-resistant uh, uh, tracer, or uh, primer. Uh, also. It was a competition for this. You won the competition. Where are you in the development program at the moment? So we're uh, we're nearing our critical design review uh, mid next year, and then we'll go right into a qualification. And that will be followed by low rate production. It's a bit low rate production and uh, production options that will follow immediately.